Yoon Hee Wang, allegedly the individual behind the handle and alias Traffic Carb or Traffic Cash, has been arrested in alleged suspicion of being the administrator of the notorious 911S5 botnet. The inner workings of the botnet were that software published by Traffic Carb was in fact malware disguised as free virtual private networks or VPNs. These malware scams were made free for the public and they infected each Windows device that would install and use them. Ultimately, that led to over 19 million IP addresses being part of the botnet, all international, which meant billions of dollars in pandemic and unemployment fraud and access to child exploitation materials by cyber criminals in that syndicate. You can read more about it on the justice.gov press release, but I would like to explore and see what other chatter is out there, out and about following this arrest and the 911S5 botnet as a whole. I'm taking a look at discussions across the dark web, and to do that, I'm using Flare. Now, full disclosure, Flare is the sponsor of this video, but I'm sure as you know, I'm a huge fan of their platform. It's seriously one of the best ways that you and your organization can reduce risk from threats ranging from leaked credentials to information stealing malware logs and manage your exposed attack surface. Anyway, let's see what cyber criminals are chatting about surrounding the 911S5 botnet. This one includes a link so we can go take a look at the source. This is a post on XSS.is, one of the known Russian hacking forums, so this is in a language that I can't read, but I'll have it funneled through Google Translate. The translation might get mixed up, and it might not be the best English, but you can kind of get an idea. <laughs> and right away, folks are asking about what kind of mixer they use, and oh, their hosting provider. That's like riding their coattails, wanting to use whatever they did. There are about three pages worth of discussion here, and it's the usual threat actor antics, right? Whatever flaming shenanigans they do, and I won't drag you down the rabbit hole here, but I would like to be scrolling through a bit just so you get to see it. Bear in mind, this is just chatter on XSS.is. There's certainly more in other forums or Telegram channels. Telegram is, after all, like social media for cybercrime. It's the threat actor's hangout spot in HQ. And just so you know how we're tracking all this down, Flare has built their own archived copy of the dark web and other more questionable illicit websites. They've ingested over 6,000 Telegram channels and leaky S3 buckets and GitHub repositories and all this wild stuff out there on the internet. And they've made it searchable, like global universal search, so you can look through the entire historical archive that's updated every single day. Looking through the results, we can see lots of discussions around the arrest of the alleged botnet administrator. And remember, 911S5 lured victims by offering a free VPN. That VPN installed malware that added the victim's IP address to the botnet. At the time of the arrest, the botnet controlled about 120,000 residential proxy nodes all around the world. And each of them interacted with several C2 or command and control servers located abroad or hosted on a cloud server. Some of the known malicious VPNs were called Mask VPN or Do VPN, Shine VPN and Proxygate. Most were offered for free, but some cost some coin. You can take a look at the prices here. Man, look at that table. That's a business and sales tactic right there. Itemize, hey, compare and contrast side by side, what features are doing what. That is advertising and hey, cybercrime is an enterprise and an industry. Maybe you're doing just the same thing to land a deal. Anyway, the 911S5 botnet was started way back in May 2014, but was actually taken offline by the administrator in July of 2022. But it was later revived and rebranded as Cloud Router in October of 2023. You could actually find them online at cloudrouter.io, but that has been seized by law enforcement and taken down. This seizure banner is actually an animated GIF that loops through the law enforcement notice in the different appropriate languages. And the link that they reference on the page brings you to the FBI notice on this takedown. That includes the names of some more illegitimate and malicious VPN applications. And look at this. 
The proxy backdoor enabled the 911 S5 botnet users to reroute their devices through victim devices, allowing criminals to carry out crimes such as bomb threats, financial fraud, identity theft, child exploitation, and initial access brokering. By using a proxy backdoor, criminals made nefarious activity appear as though it was coming from the victim's devices themselves. That's wild. The page includes some other tactical and technical details about finding this malware, and if you're concerned, I'd totally recommend taking a look through it. But the victims that had their infected devices sold as nodes were actually advertised in a really surprising way. Cybercrime is a business after all, but Traffic Carb, again, the handle for the botnet administrator here, would just blatantly and almost desperately sell his services. There are some other dark web forums that I haven't showcased in a video before, like No Hide, Anti Chat, and Wicked Fire, and we can use Flare to see some of the previous posts from ThreatCarb and his associates, all on behalf of now Cloud Router. Here's a post on NoHide, selling access to the victim machines in the botnet to be used as a proxy. Look at all the different SKUs. You can even get like a test package for two US dollars. This exact same post was on the anti-chat forum, but has since been removed. I don't know for sure, but I'd have to take a guess, that account may have been removed following the arrest, and all the threads went down with it. On that note, we even see the Cloud Router user post on Wicked Fire, but he realized his own advertising might not have followed the forum's community rules. So he says, oh, I wasn't supposed to post this thread, not sure how to delete it. That page won't even load, I guess, I don't know, I suppose Wicked Fire is changing up their website right now. But now we can follow through with whatever this user account posted across whatever forum by tracking their username with Flare. They all come from Cloud Router or cloudrouter.io, and it's hard to say that that's some OPSEC failure, because sure, it's all the same username, and that makes it easy for researchers and analysts to track down, but you gotta acknowledge that's their business and branding all at the same time. So what about the victims? There is some chatter on Dread, the dark web equivalent of Reddit, where folks discuss that they use some of the Cloud Router provided VPNs. This is as recent as March of this year. And they say it shares the same user interface as 911, granted it's the same thing, and it doesn't come at a terrible price. Mmm. That is just one individual though, out of what, 19 million IP addresses. So it's hard to grok the entire impact here, but we can get some interesting tidbits with Flair. Noting their infected devices or their stealer log section, we can track down artifacts from affected users that have session data for cloudrouter.io. Here are a couple showcases for results in the past month, but that sort of detail is kind of wild. All in all, I'm glad to see another cyber criminal arrested. Huge props to law enforcement for another takedown and arrest, and I've said it before, and I'll say it over and over and over again. Don't do this stuff. Don't be a cyber criminal. Be on the good side of cybersecurity. And if you're keeping tabs on stuff like this, then make sure those VPNs aren't anywhere in your environment. And you can track a lot of this down with Flare, just as I've showcased for research, but even to know your own information exposure. Like in case your employees or you, your coworkers, anything in an organization have some artifacts out and about in stealer logs or even like digital infrastructure access for sale on the dark web. Flare has also like dramatically simplified their free trial process. So you can sign up even without a sales call with just the link in the video description. Thanks so much for watching. Please do all those YouTube algorithm things, like, comment, subscribe. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.